Well, in a normal circumstance, the system is more than capable of handling this. Uh, we've handled millions and millions of absentee ballots uh, without a problem in the past. But we've never had a president who was the problem, a uh, president who is seeking to discredit the election in advance, to cast doubt on it, to raise suspicions about it, uh, who is encouraging of foreign powers like Russia to do the same and amplify his false messages. And if we have the election, uh, and the president does what he is capable of doing, and that is declaring a false victory before the votes have been counted, uh, and then unleashing uh, legal dogs to try to attack the balloting process, uh, and egging on the people around the country to acts of, uh, of violence, which he is also more than capable of doing, uh, then we're in very uncharted waters. I think the remedy here is Americans doing their civil, civil and civic duty uh, and turning out in such massive numbers that the election isn't even close, that any effort by the president to dispute the results uh, falls on deaf ears. Um, but if it is close uh, and the president can contest it, uh, I think it could be far worse than what we saw in 2000. Um, you, you heard what I introduced the program with, which were the horrified reactions from allied states uh, around the world. Now, the main adversary or uh, competitor, China, which we're going to talk about in more detail in a moment, also uh, had some things to say. Obviously not President Xi and not the actual party leadership. But the Times, the Global Times, which is closely aligned with the leadership, said um, the candidates and the debate obviously did not show an exemplary role to the American people on how to engage in debate. So that's their comment. Um, I want to know what you think in terms of foreign interference. You know, most people believe that Russia is the main uh, foreign instigator into, uh, you know, confusing the American democratic process. But others, some of, some of them, like President Trump, talks about China doing that. What do you know in terms of intelligence? Who's the biggest culprit in interfering in America's elections? Uh, there's no question when you look at the intelligence uh, that it is Russia that is most actively intervening to try to determine the result, to try to help re-elect Donald Trump. Uh, and to sow chaos in the United States. And it's doing that in a number of ways on social media, through uh, hacking operations. Uh, but it is amplifying the president's false claims about mail-in voting and amplifying the president's false smears against Joe Biden. China, the intelligence community has acknowledged publicly, has a preference uh, for who wins. Now, that's not uncommon. Uh, probably most nations on Earth have a preference about who they'd like to see uh, as president of the United States. It's a very different thing, though, when you're engaged across a whole series of modalities to try to influence the outcome and do so covertly. That's what the Russians are doing, and that puts them in a completely different category.